Hey everybody, I'm Liam, beer manager at Bottles in Providence, and I'm here with Dan from Gray Sale Brewery, a brand new brewery from right here in Rhode Island, down in Westerly, and we're going to take a look at the brewery and try a couple beers. Gray Sale Brewing Company was started by Jennifer Britton and her husband, Alan, in 2010 on the beaches of Musquamacut and Watch Hill in Westerly, Rhode Island. The name Gray Sale was inspired during one of Jen's early morning visits to the Musquamacut Beach. Baby, please don't go back to slowly but surely building up to where we are, and uh, it, I mean, it's been a lot of work. And all from scratch. All from scratch. I mean, the, the fermenters came from Japan. Yes, the the brew house and the fermenters all came from uh, Japan. The, the the only thing we actually purchased new was all the piping you see, the stainless, the steam, all that's new. The boiler we bought from within uh, within the state. Um, and a few other things we have to put together. So what prompted cans as opposed to, to bottles? Cans as opposed to bottles, well, the real reason for the brewer first like he wanted a better quality package. And that's the that that's the main idea. No air like so that, that that was that was our main our main reason for it, but the, the kind of the theme of the brewery was to make sure that it catered towards the shoreline lifestyle, not just in Rhode Island but in Connecticut and in the future with the South Shore of Massachusetts. And we figured canned beer, specifically the boat theme would go well for boaters, yacht clubs, beach bars, I mean anything that anything where glass is not permitted, cans are usually uh, it, it, it are usually permitted. The nice thing about it is that occasionally I've been at golf courses or our boats and that's what they pull out of the pool. Yeah. They they also also like the, I mean, that's a special store with them too, because they're they're lighter, but they don't break. They don't break or they don't break as easily. And they can take up a little less space. Yeah, a little less space. So you can put a twelve pack of cans. I know they're available in some cases. I just some stores are still hesitant to pick up, and I, I I promise to everyone, everybody who comes in here, I'm trying to dispel the stigma of glass versus cans. Yeah, it's it's actually better. Yeah, it's better for the beer, and I I, always, I get the most common ones, the metallic taste. I always have for the people who come in. I show them the inside of the ball can. Mm -hmm. if, if you've never felt this, if you feel the outside of the can versus the inside of that. Yep. There's an obvious difference. They have, they've been plastic lined for years. And, you know, they, is that the leaning chimney? That is the leaning chimney. Yes, uh, that is where the smoke porter got its namesake. We, uh, ironically, during demo, that was supposed to go down, and uh, it's not supporting the roof or right. anything. When Jen came, Jen stood right there, and she saw that, and she was like, "Oh, we can't." And it's now a set piece. I mean, it, it's. It, I mean, it is kind of an awkward position. It might be easier if it wasn't there, but right. Uh, from we have not been able to c procure any pictures of brew when it was a macaroni factory. We're looking for them, but apparently I've been told that when people used to come in up these steps, there used to be just uh, palleted crates. You could you get a, uh, a brown paper bag and you get to walk around, and just pick up your pasta. And just when we find some little history about it, we're going to sure to showcase it because the, we like to say we've gone from brain to brain. But slowly but surely, we're expanding our operations and we're looking at see where we're, where we're going to go next. That's cool. Well, it takes time. Baby, please don't go.